I am so excited, Happy Trans Week of Visibility. It has officially been one year since I had my genioplasty. Surgery day. Angelina Jolie moment. Okay. Here we go. It's so numb. Yeah, my neck is really swollen. I really overdid it today. Yeah, I'm doing my best. Now, hopefully full sensation does return. I am excited to be able to eat apples again. I look like a different person. You know, it's so wild to me because looking back, you know, before I had my genioplasty, my face looked so different, you know? Like, I had a lot of insecurities about my face. I felt like it was very masculine. And it's so funny how just one subtle little change can make me feel so much more confident. So I've gone through two puberties in my life, and then I had, you know, FFS a year ago. And so now, you know, every single day, I'm excited to look in the mirror and, like, reintroduce myself to what I look like. Because as a trans person, right, I lived most of my life looking very masculine and it messes with my mind sometimes because i don't fully know what i look like in my head right because i have this preconceived you know idea of my masculine self still you know i have dysphoria playing a part and then i have dysmorphia playing a part right and so there are moments when i'm like wait, what do I look like? And so that's part of why I have so many mirrors in my room. That's part of why I love, you know, taking so many photos of myself and everything. I am still constantly reminding myself that I am that hot girl in the mirror, you know? Like I'm honestly sometimes still very surprised when I see my own appearance because I'm still getting used to it and it's still continuously changing to become more and more feminine. I'm so thankful to be able to have had surgery because for so long I never thought that that would be a reality for me, you know, and so I recognize the privilege to be able to have gender affirming surgery, um, you know, let alone during the pandemic. I can finally eat apples again and, you know, things feel really good, but there are still moments when my chin still feels just a little bit tight and I still don't have 100% sensation back. I'd say I have like 90% sensation back for the most part, but this center part right under the middle of my lip, this little area here, still does not have 100% sensation. So there are moments where I'll be drinking or eating like soup or whatever. And you know, if something falls right in that little area, I often have no idea it's there. So I notice myself wiping my mouth so much more or like, you know, asking people I'm eating with to let me know because it's something that I just think I have to live with. <laughs> Overall, I couldn't be more happy, you know, that I made that decision. Because for a while there, I went back and forth if I wanted to get my chin done or not. But, you know, before I had, you know, my genioplasty, the left side of my chin used to hang down a little lower and my chin was so squared off. So it just felt very masculine and very insecure for me. Whereas now it's like round and it's symmetrical and it makes me so happy.